In a bid to reverse the economic fortunes of the village, Mayor of Middleton Terry Coombs recently revealed controversial plans to put the village forward for town status. We caught up with the mayor at the launch of his Tick for a Town campaign, started after residents demanded a vote on the controversial measures. When are you going to tell us, Terry? I'm telling you now, Anna. Uh, and what are you getting personally out of this? Yeah, come yeah, on, Terry. Come on. Yeah, Speak the truth. I'll, I'll tell you what I'm getting out of it. Peace of mind. Oh. Peace of mind. Oh. Why am I here? Are you worried that the plans will prove unpopular? Progress always is. Listen, there'd still be burning witches that lot if it weren't for visionaries like me. I want to build a dream, not a bloody wicker man. People fear the unknown, but once you communicate that change and see that it's not bullshit, then the fear evaporates. And this is where the new cinema, sports complex, and maternity unit are going to be. Right next to the revamp box. But people, people, Rome wasn't built in a day. Alright, but I reckon we can get this lot done in a fortnight. Bollocks! There's no need for that kind of language. Get to the back of the queue. Right, excuse me, I'm Who's doing all this here anyway? Jump the queue. Sorry, that's you. commercially yeah. sensitive oh, information. Right. It's not a firm represented by a symbol, is it? Like Prince. I can't say. Oh, Christ, well, it is, isn't it? It's a bunch of cowboys. Builders with no names. Ah, it's called Tony, actually. Mm -hmm. How about the accusations made in the press that you have a dictatorial approach to politics? We're having a vote, aren't we? What more do they want? Look, they said Pol Pot was mad, didn't they? He was mad. He killed millions of people. Yeah. He was well organised, wasn't he? Got things done. That's all I'm trying to do. Look, I don't need to dictate to anyone. There's no dirty tricks, no false promises. The benefits of this sell themselves. And the organ will be installed in the cathedral by 2014. Cathedral? Just... Dev? Dev? Where's Dev? Dev? Listen, love. If you don't go for this, they're going to close the swimming baths and the church. We don't even have any swimming baths? Exactly. Do you want to go back to that? Why would they close everything? Cuts. There'll be no buses. Right, and how will that change if we're a town? Investment, love. Middleton will be open for business. Well, I'm open for business. That's what it says on the men's room wall. Oh, piss off. Tramp. I just think it all sounds like a load of crap. We'll do your shop up for you. Really? All right then, go on, yeah. Good lass. Here, stick your vote in that ballot box over there. In fact, here, have a few. Thank you. What about claims of corruption? Completely unfounded. I mean, where's the proof? We have a letter that you sent to a local council stating the villagers had already agreed to the town bid. Where'd you get that? It's... Has someone been talking? Look, it's just being prepared to... avoid... unnecessary delays. So you're not trying to circumvent the voting process? Negative. That's a denial. You can give that to the papers. We will, along with this letter. You ain't been shouting your mouth off, have you? What's about? No. No, it wouldn't be you, would it? Er, uh, could you do me a favour? Break into the pallet box, will you, and fix the boat? Oh, Percy Hell. You're joking, aren't you? Hey, listen, you'll do it if you want out of this place. Mia Coombs, when were you going to tell us about the plans for the nuclear reactor? Get stuff. You claim to have seen evidence of plans pertaining to the building of a nuclear facility in the village, if it becomes a town. That's correct. Can we ask you where this information came from? <laughs> if I told you that, men in black suits would come and collect me, take me just outside the city borders and bury me in the desert. What desert? 
All this, if those plans go through. Don't you think that's scaremongering? No, because we've got the facts, and the facts speak for themselves. What do you mean you're not sure? You're happy to bring your kids up in a world of radiation sickness. The Russians will have everything they have pointing at us. I don't think that's true. They wouldn't let them build a nuclear plant here. I didn't see it on the plans. Well, you don't see a lot of things. Open your eyes to the real world. It's still two minutes to midnight. I thought it was a quarter to ten. Oh, one protect and survive leaflet for Mrs Wallace. Oh, I don't want to make the wrong decision. Oh, well, you can tell that to your kids, you know, when they've got two heads. You really think they would build it? Build it? It's already been approved. And you're letting it happen. How can you sleep at night? I can't. I'm on tablets. My doctor says it's my nerves. Yeah, well, well not sleeping will be the least of your worries with your face burn off. Just vote for a village. The toilet block sounds like a good idea, though, what with my bladder issues. And it would help the local shops out when the tourists visit. Tourists? Tour tourists? It'll be full of drug users shooting up, then shooting each other. Oh, you're scaring me now. Go away, please. Shoot! I'm going to call the police. Yeah, we'll try doing that when you're caught in gang-related crossfire. Yeah, you can't shut the door on the truth. Oi. Oh. I'm warning you. For what? Making viable points as part of a legitimate political movement. For public disorder offences. <laughs> oh, we've, we've taught them for the Bill of Rights, have we? Just knock it off, eh? I hope the Russians love their kids too! Right, that's it. Oh. Here. Stop! Manager Bella Armstrong runs the village hall. We asked her about what impact she thought the vote would have on the community. It's great to see people actually take an interest for a change. I mean, I get annoyed at apathy. I mean, people have died so that others have the right to vote. And that just gets taken for granted. It's as if, it's as if democracy itself ha has been cheapened. Well, not on my watch. We'll have to break the lock off then. There's a word for that. Yes, ingenuity. I was thinking more along the lines of immoral. Huh. So is what's happening to me, stuck in this place for years on end. Just break into it. I don't want to end up in prison. I've got an air of vulnerability about me. They'd eat me alive in there. Like meat to a butcher's carving knife. Don't worry. As long as we're discreet, we'll be fine. <laughs> you could have warned me. We're supposed to be a team. Well, I've Bonnie and Clyde. They were a perfect team. Some say the perfect match. Well, not really. They both got shot. They were in love. <laughs> what a good it did him. Now, can you break the lock off or not? I need some leverage. Have you got a crowbar? Yes, I've got one in the boots. Just in case I fancy doing a, a bit of breaking and entering. Well, no, of course I don't. Mm. Well, how about the credit card then? Careful with it because I need it for me shopping tonight. Right. Do you not need a doctor's stethoscope or something? You watch too much Hollywood. It's not mechanical, this. It's about touch. And eventually the lock should just. Ah, I'll we'll go right there. That'd be. Card. Great. Now I'll just starve to death. No, no, it's yet to defeat us. Try and stay away from the political side of things. Um, if Bella needs a hand, I'm more than happy to help her out. She is a good friend. Just as long as I can maintain my integrity. If this long hammer doesn't get it off, nothing will. Sorry, sorry, I, I just turned it down. Shh. I'm on the phone to the credit card company. How did the robbery happen? Um, I was entered 
entertaining. My boyfriend. And his friends. Oh, we were out drinking. Yes, I was drinking with my boyfriend and his friends. You need a crime number? I'll just get one and phone you back. Quick, hide me. Why? The police are after me. You brought them here? Why, what have we been doing? Nothing. Why, what have you done? I found out the truth about the mayor, and he knows I know, so he sent his goons after me. The policing in this village. I'll tell you about the policing in this village, if I'm allowed to express my opinion in this oppressive state we live in. I'll take the chance. The policing in this village, one word, adequate. All right, where is he? Who? Bleeding bottle. I haven't seen him. Don't mess me around, sir. You'd be very popular inside. Told you. What's this? Is this your hammer, is it, sir? Yes. Yeah. Offensive weapon in public, sir. Unless, of course, you've got a reason to have it in here. Delta 239, come in. Delta 239, go ahead, control. Credit card fraud at known location. Attending? It's behind the curtain. You scam! Afternoon, officer. Important you use our orange, shall we? Let's do my job. You and me. Well, let me tell you something. You got the wrong one, I fought the law, and the law lost. You, sir, are going to have to come with me. This is all evidence. Come on. There's too many faces that I can't see. Same for everyone looking at me behind my back. I don't like that. Cause everybody is someone else. And I first thought, trust nobody but myself. I might as well. The bits of his...